I would like to make a video real quick. Um, people are going to get mad what I get ready to say. See, like I said, I've always believed in God. I, ne I never had a relationship because as a child, you know, God can do things for children. You know, today it's a lot different. A lot of children are getting things from God that, um, that a lot of children at one time would have never gotten. And a lot of it has to do with the end days. Um, But I've never lived a life. I mean, I'm telling you, as a child, with you not being held accountable, uh, I mean, I was a halfway decent child. It's not like, you know, a lot, how a lot of parents bring their children up. A lot of children, they're, they're I mean, I'm not gonna let's, I'm not gonna say no more because I, I, I shouldn't say anything against anyone. There's nothing we can do. There, it, you know. Things happen in this life. Things happen to people. I mean, things have happened to me. A lot of the reason why I've been the way I've been is because of things have happened to me, just like a lot of other people out here. Um, and it, and it's sad that that's how society, how society has allowed things to happen. I mean, it, it's, but I am telling you this right now. My grandmother, you know what she brought up to me one time? And I, and I really wonder if my grandmother was behind this. I wonder what my grandmother used to pray to God about me. Because my grandmother told me one time, and I'm not being prideful about this. I'm just telling you this. My grandmother sat there and said that she thought that there was something special about me. Like there may be a reason that she would even profess that to me. And, um, you know, just because God made me a watchman, I've admitted I am no more special than anyone else. My grandmother wasn't saying that out of pride. She was saying that out of, she knew that she, I, I really do believe that she knew that, that some way God would use me. And it just so happens that I've kind of squandered some of that. And that's my fault. You know, if I had the same brightness about me, like I did when I was in New Mexico, people would be able to look at me and go, wow, I want what you got. Kind of like that Sam with it, worthy, uh, Wigglesworth, you know, there in, uh, you know, he, he got the Holy Spirit. And people wanted, he, people wanted what he had, you know, um, but I never bragged about any of this stuff, but there have been two people that have made videos. I don't know why I'm talking about this stuff again. Like I did, like my other video I made a few minutes ago, but I made a video talking about people out here that are making videos, saying things that people are saying in videos, that they're making horrible videos. You know, they may talk a lot of good things about a lot of things, but there's a lot of things you don't talk about, talk against. Believe me, I never knew anything about a watchman. Not in my entire life did I know anything about a watchman. Until I asked God why me, after God was showing things to me, and he can pick and choose who he chooses to be a, um, what's that word? You guys know the word I'm talking about when God uses someone. God can do whatever he wants. I didn't ask for this. There's times I feel like I wish I would have never accepted it. I'm happy because... God has shown me things. I wish I could have done a better job. But there have been two people out here that have made videos, and I just got done wit witnessing one of them. 
that DTBM, he just got done making a video. He uploaded it a couple of minutes ago. Today is two, Monday. He, he uploaded it like 20 minutes ago. That in the Bible, it does not say, this is what he said. It does not say that God would ever use anyone in the end days. And I really have wondered why people have thought themselves to be watchmen. I really have wondered why people have thought themselves of being watchmen. I had to ask God to get understanding that God made me a watchman. Some people, I think, recognized what God was doing from what the Bible has done. You know, you know, I even witnessed a video earlier talking about a watchman. Do you know that that the watchman, I think that this person professed in the video, was actually a watchman for when people were doing things that they weren't supposed to be doing. That this watchman was supposed to watch out for things that were coming against them, kind of like it is in the end days. The sword coming against us is God is tired with this world being the way it is. God is tired of it. He's not tired of, just tired of non-believers being a part of it. He's tired of Christians being a part of it. He's tired of it all. I don't know why God made me a watchman. The only thing I can think of is I don't know when to shut up. I don't know when to quit making videos. That's the only thing I can, that's the only thing I can give credit. Maybe that's the reason why, because I mean, I can, I'll talk about the same thing over and 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 over. Come out of the darkness and into the light. Whoa, that's a, that's a subject that Christ came up with. That's what he told Paul, you know, but either way, I'm trying to say this. I don't know why God is using any watchman anywhere. God didn't need no one. When the time comes, if you read the Bible and you had understanding of what the Bible said and you were serving him, great. If you weren't serving him, whoa, whoa. So, uh, I don't know why God would give visions and dreams even. The only thing I can come to understanding is that if you knew the visions and dreams were happening, you knew we were in the end days. You know, these pastors, literally Billy Graham and all these pastors of the last hundred years have been saying that they knew that this stuff was on the horizon, the end days. All of them. David Wilkerson, you can go down the whole list. Because the way people were living their lives. But again, it's the same for Christians also. The way they're living their lives. Well, I'll tell you this. I don't know why people are making videos talking against God telling somebody something. I don't believe in everybody out here that says that God told them something. And I definitely do not believe when they say that God told them something or they had a vision or a dream when they preach falsehoods. Because God isn't going to God isn't going to bring and give something to someone to lead people astray. That's Satan. That isn't God. So I don't believe in any of these people, even when they sit here and don't know any better. You're supposed to read the Bible and come to the understanding. You can have your videos talking about how you talk about how this is what it takes to be saved. If it if if you're not going to tell the whole truth, you're better off not saying nothing. Because it could be a damaging message. But people are making videos saying, well, God wouldn't do, God, it doesn't even say in the Bible that God would even use anyone. 
Well, evidently, he, he would have visions and dreams for people to be telling other people. That would be kind of ignorant. Why he, DTBM would even bring that up. Do you know what I did? Do you know I wrote a big O section? I wrote something big that I was going to send and put it on that, that, that comment section. Guess what? My phone blacked out, came back on, and the comment was no there. I didn't even hit the 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 button to upload it. I don't think God wanted it there. I don't. Again, I'm not better than anyone. I mean, about the only way somebody would say somebody's better than someone else when it comes to the salvation and anything is if somebody's saved and somebody isn't. But I'm not going to sit here and say that if I'm in sin, that I'm any better than anyone else, okay? I'm going to say I'm equal with a lot of other Christians. God knew I would mess up. And I wish I never did. I really do from the bottom of my heart. And uh, but I could not sit here and make videos and say God didn't tell you this. God didn't say he is going to be doing this. I've literally heard two people say this. I understand why Wiki Robot Reformed Wiki made one of the videos saying this. Because everybody out here wants to make videos saying God did tell me this. I don't, I don't think I've ever titled the video that way. I don't think I have ever titled a video that God told me even though God has told me things because some people that's the whole every time they make a video that's exactly how they say it God told me this God told me this and guess what everybody listens whether God told them that or not look at how many people Quit making videos about the rapture because they should have never even been making videos about the rapture in the first place. If you've had a vision or a dream about a rapture, make a video about your vision and dream about the rapture and be done with it. You can't make it the 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 topic of the highlight the high, highlight of the topic is to make vi rapture videos. I could make one every week saying tomorrow, wait, but tomorrow I could do that seven days a week. It's about being prepared when that day comes around. That's what it's about. The unrighteous deserve God's wrath. It does not make a difference. If you're unrighteous and you and you call yourself a Christian, you deserve God's wrath. There ain't no rapture. Absolutely zilch. Anybody says anything different, then they're talking the opposite of the word of God. And you can bet at the end of the day, it's going to matter of how you're living your life, whether you're righteous or or, or whether you're unrighteous, excuse me. Not whether you're righteous, but whether you are unrighteous. And let me tell you this right now. It's going to make a difference whether you're righteous too. Because believe me, if God's leading you to righteousness, you're not going to be out here doing unrighteous things. If you're led by the Holy Spirit and the righteousness is through Christ and you can be righteous because you're led by the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to be out here doing unrighteous things. Your righteousness does make a difference. Or it would not be in the Bible. Like I said, isn't it weird that the Old Testament has a scripture of righteousness and then it has a scripture 
against righteousness. Upright is righteous. Proverbs, upright. Spiritual protection, upright. Job, upright. God, upright, righteous. I mean, I understand that God and Jesus, righteous, duh, I'm not stupid. But, Job was righteous. Why was he righteous? I know it's because of God and Jesus. Do you want to think, do you, would you like to question whether he had the Holy Spirit or not? Like I said, I know I'm right. Most people, when they think about the Holy Spirit, they think about the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. They don't think about the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. Just like that woman that talked about grace. She said, or whoever it was, man or a woman, that made that website that said, I've never looked at grace from the Old Testament. I always looked at grace from the New Testament. And that's how most people are. They look at grace in the old in the New Testament. They won't look at grace from the Old Testament. If you'd have saw grace in the Old Testament, you would have saw it. If you'd have went looking for it, you'd have saw it. It's nothing new. The Holy Spirit's nothing new. Well, again, I can't put down somebody if they are what they are. If God made them a watchman, like I said, this this woman out there makes videos that calls herself a watchwoman. She said that God literally proved these things. Guess what? All the things that God was showing me, I got the proof right in front of my face. signs in the skies was that not a sign that i witnessed two clouds with my own two eyes that looked like a nuclear bomb went off those are signs in the skies one in lubbock texas one in hobbs new mexico i get on the internet i was friends with a girl on facebook i witnessed where she posted one i was i put i witnessed and the one that happened in Lubbock, Texas, you can even Google it and find it. You'll see exactly the one I witnessed in 2015. The meteors that I witnessed, God put these things right in front of my face. The suffering that people are going to witness, the animals dying by mass numbers, 